Hello everybody and welcome to my 16th episode of the Quest of a Narnia fan and um, there's still no any news about the Silver Chair film but we actually got something today on Narnia Web. Um, this is actually my first uh, non-Silver Chair movie um, video and uh, today I'm going to be talking about this rumor saying that Netflix has announced um, with E1 to make a Chronicles of Narnia TV series. Now, I was actually surprised by this, and at first I thought they were going to make, they were gonna do the Silver Chair and the rest of the series and have put it on Netflix. But as I looked at the article down here, it says that um, this has nothing to do with uh, Joe Johnson's uh, film of the Silver Chair. So this is kind of like their own sort of thing. But we did had um, a TV series of Narnia before, back in the um, early 80s and um, late 80s and early 90s when BBC did them. But they only did the first four books, but they didn't do the rest of them. Um, but I'll talk about more of those later. If you go on, uh, if you go on NarniaWeb.com, you could check it out. Um, there's also a quote in here that says that fifth time is the charm for C.S. Lewis, or so they hope at Netflix. I've heard that E1 has struck a deal with Netflix to produce a series of children's fantasy books. Now, this is actually not the first thing that actually happened. Um, I have also found out today that Netflix is going to be doing a live action uh, remake of the of the TV series Avatar The Last Airbender. And they probably would do a much better job than what M. Night Shyamalan did with his adaptation of the show. If, if you guys have seen that movie The Last Airbender, I it was absolutely horrible. It's actually the number one worst movie adaptation ever on my list. It's, it's terrible. It actually came out several months before Don Treader and I I was completely disappointed by it, and maybe maybe Netflix can do a better adaptation than that. I just hope that they don't ever hire M Night Shyamalan for this, because it's he he completely ruined the series. But I'm not here to talk about Avatar. I'm here to talk about Narnia. So let's just let's just say that yes, Netflix is going to be doing a, a a Narnia TV series. They prob they probably might do a good job with it. It's just I don't really watch any Netflix TV series. The only show I ever watched them was the Dragons TV series, and I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good show. I have also heard that back in 2014, that um, Netflix is going to be doing a TV series of the book series, a series of unfortunate events, and it actually did happen. I've never actually watched it at all. I don't really watch any TV series on Netflix. And who knows, maybe if it's true, then maybe they might do a good job than the BBC adaptation. And to be honest, I don't really care for the BBC adaptations that much, um, apart from Silver Chair. And before you guys are saying, I, you, sh no, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't say that. BBC adaptation did a better job with Don Treader than, than, the Walden ad than the Walden movies did. And yes, I get that. But I also have the Narnia series on the Focus on the Family radio theaters. And I like their adaptations of Prince Caspian and Don Treader more than the BBC and Walden adaptation. There's actually three things I don't like about the BBC series. One, they're just, I don't really like those really weird effects. They're just so weird. And I know CGI wasn't invented back then. And plus, I don't like animals being like human size. They're just kind of creepy. And two, I don't like cartoons and live actions taking place in the same universe. They're just so weird and they don't mix together well. And that's also partly the reason why I did not like the movie The Page Master, which Joe Johnson also directed. I'm sorry for all you fans out there, but I did not like that movie, okay? And plus, that scene in the library really freaked me out. I mean, seriously, the part where the painting melts to become a watery monster, it's so creepy. And three, go ahead and think me evil if you want. I, don't, I really don't care, but there, Peter absolutely annoys me, okay? I, I really didn't think Richard Dempsey was a very good actor. He just, he really wasn't that great. I mean, in the second episode where he was like trying to argue with Edmund, he wasn't really arguing. He was just reciting his lines and not really acting at all. It's just, I really couldn't stand that ki that kid. I mean, seriously, that second episode was seriously the hardest for me to sit through. And because every time I hear Richard Dempsey argue with, with Edmund, I was just like, girl, that's pure annoying. See, so yeah, I, I, I don't like Richard Dempsey at all. And to be honest, to tell you the truth, he, Jonathan, and the two Sophies don't look like a Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy at all, in my opinion. So yeah, the reason I like Silver Chair more is because they don't have the cartoon creatures, the effects are a little less weird, and the acting is a lot better. And to be honest, I like Barbara Killaman as Green Lady more than the White Witch. I feel like she was way overacting in, in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but she was more subtle as the Green Lady. So yeah, what do you guys think? Um, should Netflix do a series of Narnia, or should they not? So yeah, that's, that's all for today, and I think probably in a couple months, maybe sometime this November, They'll probably might get some news for the Silver Chair film, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. 
And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.